as you can see, we're going to start with Giovanni. Because that's just how it works. Yeah, his voice is a little um, higher than I would like, but... Yeah, his, uh... Alright. I mean, I can... See, the problem is, I'm used to Giovanni having that very distinctive voice from the show. <laughs> but of course, the show is the only version that where he actually sounds like that. He actually kind of sounds a little bit of, a little, a little bit British and a little bit old Hollywood. On the show. Hey again! Yay! Yeah, the problem is you just can't get accents. So, CEO of a mega corporation for him. His traits are ambitious, charismatic, hot headed, though I suppose in the games he really isn't, is he? Well, even on the show he isn't. Loves the outdoors. Remember, this guy literally writes geology books. Or all kinds of stuff like that. And workaholic. So, I'm thinking about changing hot-headed. What do you think? Geology is awesome. <laughs> Plus, you get to say things like schist in high school and no one will tell you no. <laughs> So what do you think? Should I change that trait? Or just let it stand as is? Yeah, change it. All right. Oh, Doobie Mouse, hi! Okay, change traits. Uh, get rid of Adventurous, perhaps? Actually, no, I know. Cat person. Shall I? Well, that looks like a vote for cat person. <laughs> okay. Still want you to be CEO of a mega corporation, though. I'm liking salmon, classical music, and the color black. I mean, if it was the show, I'd just change the suit to orange, but... <laughs> yeah, I don't like salmon. I used to. I used to love salmon, and then I just started... Ugh. I don't know. Let's go over his clothing, because I, I forgot what everything but his everyday wear is. Sad meow. Yeah. <laughs> I remember I really liked it with like lemon and capers. You ever had capers? They're so good. <whistles> That's hello, Athena. I don't know if you can hear my parrot. She's chirping in the next room. She's probably like 10 feet away from me. Yes, hi. Yes, hi. You good bird? There's no bird person trait though. Hey, formal. So is he just doing the same thing in formal or is it not changed yet? Problem is, this game can be really, really slow when it comes to loading menus. And your bird, I love your bird, yes. Everyone left thinner. Everyone left thinner. Oh, okay. Alright, he just ha he, he has a slightly different suit and a different shirt for formal. Alright. Sleepwear. Gotta be pretty basic. Also, if I remember, I made him pretty ripped, because he's, like, ridiculously ripped on the show. <laughs> yeah? Right, Dan? <clears throat> yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, I made him ridiculously ripped. <laughs> That's so Guzma would probably approve of those stripes, huh? On some characters that I make, I have, like, I'll make every bit of their clothes uh, part of their, their, uh, their favorite color. Guzma approves of a lot there, one of them is him being ripped. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, man, don't be afraid of Rainbow Rocket. They're just like you. Picture them in their underwear. Oh, shit, they're all hot. Damn it. <laughs> I should have known better. I tried that on Lusamine, and it, boy, did that not work. There you go, athletic. <laughs> Give him some green, because he's going to be outdoors in that. I think I should do something about those boots, though. Those aren't exactly workout boots. Yeah, I'm going to give him new shoes. I might as well. some sort of tennis shoe. But something that he would also like reasonably wear. Like, would he wear something like really worn out? Actually, he'd probably wear like really old like 1990s gym shoes as a status symbol, wouldn't he? <laughs> Just because it would show how much he paid for them. <laughs> But also, those things were built to last, so, you know, accessories, I, uh, <clears throat> the problem is, I don't think anyone's developed a mod for this, but you can't sort accessories at all. So, the socks are always way at the bottom. And because it takes everything else time to load. Oh yeah, face piercings. Don't worry, I'm gonna give Guzma something. <clears throat> and Piers too. And Rose has a he has that weird white earring, doesn't he? That at first I thought was like a gauge, like I thought you could see through his ear, but I guess not. Dad, is your phone ringing? I, I just keep hearing this weird. I could give Giovanni like one of those full tattoos, but I haven't found one that suits him. I mean, I know I've seen designs, like, fan arts for Giovanni with, like, huge, like, Gyarados tattoo and stuff. And those look freaking amazing. But, uh, sadly, custom content has to be made. <laughs> you gotta be careful with custom content, because a lot of it's, like, stolen fan art. There we go. <laughs> Rose is a dad. Well, he's basically Bede's dad. And he just does a really shit job of it. He tries to be uh, Galler's dad, but he is a terrible father to the entire region, and he has let everyone down. <laughs> Red for practicality in a pool, right? <laughs> He's a bad dad. Looks like a reject from Baywatch. Yeah, basically. No. <sighs> Giovanni is not a reject from Baywatch. Giovanni is a walk-on from Baywatch. He would, like, put a whole bunch of money into this because he knows that a cameo would increase his personal brand. <laughs> and it goes to, like, 
I don't know, some sort of oceanography charity that's secretly, like, getting information about undersea legendaries and rare Pokemon and stuff. But yeah, Blackjack, that's wonderful. Why, thank you. You're wonderful! <laughs> okay, outerwear, outerwear, outerwear. And this, um, you said you've never played The Sims before. Outerwear only shows up if you have the Seasons expansion. It looks like there's something I'm missing here. I think it's career outfits if you have ambitions. You can have the trait Ambitious, but Ambitions is another expansion pack. <laughs> so yeah, outerwear is specifically for winter. <clears throat> Hello! Well, for cold weather, I should say. Oh yeah, there we go. Looks like a biker, but, you know. <laughs> I mean, we have that picture of him from uh, How I Became a Pokemon card. Where he has, like, a black trench coat and long hair and stuff. And <laughs> you just know there's no way his mother ever let him leave the house like that. <laughs> okay, so Giovanni looks like he's all covered. So now for this. It's saying create sim, but... <clears throat> Who should we bring up next? What other boss should we do? We're going to save Piers and Rose for last. We're just going to go through everyone we already have right now. Also, Giovanni, I gave him the surname Sugimori, just because. Okay. So, humans. Uh, well, it's giving me young adult by default. And I think only Guzma falls into that category. <laughs> no, Guzma and Cyrus. So whichever one of those show... Oh, well, there we go. I say whichever one of those shows up first. <laughs> I'll do what I'll do next. Here's um, uh, K2 or B2 from uh, uh, Diamond and Pearl Adventure, the galactic grunt with a swollen butt. Uh, Setzer from FF6, of course. Um, Saturn, me. <laughs> they all have random expressions, so it's really funny to have Cyrus with that surprised look. And a uh, funny thing about that hair, you know how in English, um, like on the main show, Cyrus was voiced by Sean Schemmel, who also voices Goku? That is, in fact, Saiyan hair. <laughs> At least it was hair designed with Saiyans in mind. So, yeah. <laughs> it's Super Saiyan Blue. Oh, God. It's... Oh my god. I could just imagine everyone teasing him about that as a kid. And yes, I know Blue didn't exist in the 90s when he would have been a kid, but you know what I mean. <laughs> everyone teasing him about that and, and just getting suddenly depressed that he's only human. <laughs> and also getting, like, really mad that they're comparing him to such a warlike species. <laughs> because you know this man takes his science fiction extremely seriously. His entire team is essentially Vulcan. I mean, yes! Yes, hi, Athena! You know, rational thought, suppression of emotions to cover past violence, and bowl cuts as far as the eye can see! <sighs> the man wants to create planet Vulcan. <laughs> Okay, so I have him with that perma scowl that he's always got. Um, in other Sims games, um, it's apparently easier to make something that's more exact, like with the logo and everything. But I, this is all just stuff from the actual game itself. This is all um, everything he's like his, his top and bottom are base game. Uh, the hair is custom. 
I think the shoes are from an expansion, but uh, the only thing on him that is custom is the hair. Also, notice how big his ears are, how much they stick out. Look at his official artwork. He actually looks like that. <laughs> He's got little satellite dishes. No, I shouldn't laugh because there's probably something else he was made fun of, huh? Four. Formal wear. I think he just wears the same thing for formal wear. Unless I have him in his suit from either the anime or DPA. I don't remember. Yeah, basically the difference in what he wears in those is just um, what color it is. Because in DPA, it's a white suit. Which is really weird. I mean, it's light colored. We don't have a color image of it. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, it's a shoot, his suit from the show. Except he has all the buttons buttoned. Actually, that's very similar to what Giovanni has for his formal wear, isn't it? <laughs> Sleepwear. Yes, hi. Hi, baby bird. So, you know, I'd bring you in here, but I know you'd just crap on me, and you'd probably eat my shirt. She likes to chew on my shoulder and my sleeves. There, it's my running head canna that Mars gave him those night pants. Double build. Not, uh,. Not nearly as built as his image of himself in DPA, but, you know. <laughs> also, probably not as sickly as he really looks. You kind of figure, though, logically, he'd probably be in pretty good shape because he walks everywhere, but, you know, you just know that's, like, the only thing he does. This man probably lives on energy drinks. I want those pants. You could probably find fabric pretty similar to that at, like, Joanne or something. <laughs> he probably survives entirely on those energy drinks in the fridge. And is probably the only one who doesn't uh, throw them down the drain. <laughs> he, he seems like he gets very little sleep. Just some, something about him just says to me that this man does not sleep. <laughs> uh. Right, bird. <laughs> I kinda wish I had my webcam on just so you could see Athena right now. She's so funny. Oh Athena, you're so cute. You're so cute. Come on, give me his athletic clothes. Not like he ever really uses a oh yeah, so it's just his regular ones. I might have changed his shoes. <laughs> Actually, no, they don't look really any different. Oh no, I changed his pants. That's what I changed. They're workout pants instead of, like, snow pants. Swimwear, yeah, more cosmic theme. I, I would think that if you grow up in a coastal town, you're kind of required to learn how to swim in, like, elementary school, right? <laughs> Just his regular clothes. Like back to being his regular clothes. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, come on, boy! That's not what you wear. I don't know, should I bother to change it, or should I just go with, this is what he wears to try to trick people into thinking he's a normal person. 
similar to his suit. Because <laughs> he's, yeah, he's wearing the same pants from it. Yeah, it's just, it's this. This is the design. So the easiest way to actually do this is to go back to every day, go to edit, <laughs> yeah, so you can kind of see the little sleeve part right there. <sighs> oh, that shows off that the sleeves are technically striated. They're not full black. <laughs> so, tell me, what should I do to, uh, to his uh, outerwear? Should I change it to look just like his regular outfit or should I keep it and make him look deceptively normal? <laughs> hey, hey Athena, hi. I like him the way he is right now, like right now, right now, or when it changes back to his, when it's going to flash back to finally loading his regular outerwear. <laughs> Come on. Boy. His regular outerwear. Sorry, no good with Sims terms. No, well, it's not really uh, Sims terms, just the problem is I don't know how much of a delay there is in the chat. Oh my god! What happened? Okay, well, it looks like we're going with his regular wear here then. There we go. Goku time. Oh, God. <laughs> People keep giving him orange stuff and he has no idea why. Oh, he's down here. There we go. It's like, hey, boss! Boss, tell us again about how you're the hope of the universe. It's like, you know, I looked the text for that up online. I'm using my Cyrus voice, which completely destroys everything. <laughs> completely destroys the immersion here. But imagine, you know, he, he has that voice. It's like, you know, I looked the text of that up online. If I were here for the So are you going to say it or not? No. Are you the hope of the universe, though? Yes. <laughs> so for personality, uh, perfectionist, no sense of humor, grumpy, genius, and ambitious. However, ambitious has kind of come back to bite him in the butt because he's he doesn't have a job. <laughs> At least when I've Adam, he's working on perfect mind, perfect body, logic, and athletic. Um, it wants him to be dynamic DNA profiler. No, perfect student. We could send everyone to college. Because I have a mod that once you hit the lifetime wish, you can change it and get a new one. So do you think I should have him be a perfect student? Because we all know that was his lifetime wish growing up. <laughs> yes. All right. Uh, yeah, Resort Empire, Grand Explorer, etc. Favorites. Um, actually, I am going to be right back. Please talk amongst yourselves in the chat. Please.
Okay, everybody. Hello. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. Ooh, something came up. Had to take care of that. All right. Uh, yeah, I could just that. Um, okay, so create sim, which means just going to the. Yeah, how was your day, Doobie? And how was your day, whimsical gamer? And anyone else watching? <laughs> Hi, CPU usage detected. You think? That's right, Athena. I tried to pick her up, but um, she would have none of it. Pre made Sims. I don't know why a default's still a young adult. You know, at some point, I want there to be a kid boss. If the series is based around the heroic exploits of 10 year olds, and, you know, 10 to 14 year olds, I guess, then uh, there's really no reason we can't have a villain boss around the same age. Here's Cynthia, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is Veronica from my story Obsession. I don't know if you've ever read it. If they have that little white icon there that looks like a file folder, that means they're custom. Uh, everyone else came with the game. Um, this is my mom. This is an original character. This is Giovanni again. Here's my dad. Another original character. Yes, her hair is bright red. Oh, here we go. <laughs> They're slow paced and relaxing. Good for you. <laughs> yes, I gave Lissandra the tightest of pants. Also, his beard probably looks better here than it does in the actual game. <laughs> Take a tissue of the retreat. Okay, alright. Relaxing days are now. Soldier's personality, let's see. Handy, neat, over emotional, perfectionist, and snob. He also wants to be CEO of a mega corporation. <laughs> Favorites are Ratatouille, Electronica, and Red. <laughs> But he likes the electronica that's like electric classical. <laughs> you know, the kind they probably would have made if they'd had electric guitars and synthesizers and stuff in the 1700s. <laughs> that black and red is striking. Yes, it is. I think the only custom thing here is his hair, but that might also actually be uh, a real item. Um, the shirt is actually like a waiter shirt. And it comes from one of the stuff packs. I think it actually comes from Barnacle Bay, because I think it's like a piratey shirt. But yeah. That was every day. I have a red and black dress right now. Awesome. Those are my high school colors. It was awesome. Yes, yeah, you're going to give kiss? You're a good bird. Except why'd you bite me when I tried to pick you up? <laughs> so cool. I don't know if my high school even exists anymore. I had heard that it closed, but that it was also, like, extended learning now. So I guess it's still open, but it's not really a high school anymore. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, formal. Carmel, any moment. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> yes, hello, baby parrot. I call her a baby. She's actually 23. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. That's right. That's right. Oh, maybe it's telling me that actually is his formal wear. Well, this is going to suddenly change. Suddenly I can't rotate him. Can I, can I select? Oh, yeah, see how slow the sparkle effect is here? Okay, so that was the same. Sleepwear is going to be funny if I remember. I think it has fleur de -lis patterns all over it. Oh, no, I guess not. Oh, but see, notice he's got little lions. You know, I think I'm going to edit it because I got a fleur de -lis pattern. Yes, I, I have some uh, Pokemon patterns here as well. Uh, I don't know where... <laughs> what do you think about that? <laughs> oh god, I probably have to change the sleeves too, don't I? Sounds like a true patriot. <laughs> he is, if what Sycamore says is true, the heir to the throne, essentially, if the throne still existed. They they kind of they kind of don't mention if there's still a royal family, other like if the royal family is still in power or not, or, or not. Oh, so he has a hairy chest. You can just see it poking out there. <laughs> ah, anyway. uh, mom's closing the door. So to the den. I'm in the den. She's closing the door because the TV is just on the other side of the door too. So uh, we won't hear as much of Athena. <laughs> Family just being shown up like dickhead and dickless from Sword and Shield. <laughs> well, they have like, I mean, it could be, it could be a constitutional monarchy, or it could be like um, Baron Alberto from the show, or well, from the movie. But you know what I mean. <laughs> There, his athletic gear is stylish. A little bit of yellow for some more flame highlights, you know? He can't wear all red and black, right? Because someone would tell him if he could. <laughs> Swimwear. It's entirely all red and black. <laughs> you want me to go back and change it? <laughs> this is not what you people were expecting, is it? I can tell. Yeah, just move forward. All right. <laughs> and outerwear. I imagine his inner flame has to burn even brighter in the winter. <laughs> Dad saw this on the screen. He goes, nice outfit. Ah, there we go. 
<laughs> yes, the pants and the boots kind of don't work together, but screw it. No one's going to be looking that closely. I know he's a perfectionist, but the sim itself isn't going to care. It, just, it looks so ridiculous, it's perfect. Yep. <laughs> okay, no, no. You are too... Nuh uh. Oh yeah, so here's Mars and Jupiter. <laughs> there we go. That's your boy. Back in your glasses, boy. Oh, here's you seen, by the way. <laughs> Gizmo, where the fuck are your glasses? The stream is not for children. <laughs> where are your glasses, boy? Come on. Clothing. It looks like it's some sort of a disease on his arm, but that's supposed to be his tattoos. Uh, and also, I couldn't find anything in the enormous necklace accessory category, so... I mean, I could find many necklaces, and some of them were very large, but none of that Flav of Flav kind of size. You know? <laughs> he's a lot of tattoos. I think I gave him more. Um, he has a couple of piercings, too. I tried giving him, like, full facial piercings, like, everywhere, and it just didn't look right. I mean, there's what a character probably should have and what they actually have, you know? <sighs> Oh, by the way, Yusin's life goal is to be a magician. So I can really only play him with the uh, Showtime expansion. I have to load his accessories. I also notice the base of his hair is still black. <laughs> Come on, accessories. Give him his glasses back. everyone thought that, like, all the bad guys from Sun and Moon were actually Ultra Beasts, because like, every Ultra Beast they revealed had some distinct resemblance to one of them. <laughs> well, all the bad guys and Lily. Oh no, it's just getting into piercings. I think I have him with a uh, pierced tongue, but it, it just didn't show up. Oh yeah, I forgot about Mewbot. Yeah. Why did Pokecord go down? Like, I didn't want to run it anymore, right? Yes, I have Navvies. I've never made an actual Zelda sim. Uh, but, yeah, I have Navvies. <laughs> That's... this is weird. I don't know where the... wearing the glasses high on your head accessory went. Oh well, you know what we can do? We can bring that in later when I find 
when I find that again. Because a lot of my custom content got deleted. Oh yeah, I just gave him like one earring. But, um, ideally he should have something like this, right? Oh yeah, and I have all the purple around his face. But, yeah, see, that looks just too much, right? Maybe if it was just on the ear. But, yeah. All of it together kind of looks too much, right? I don't even remember what that is. Oh, God, no. Nope, nope. Don't know why that's an accessory. It is a lot of eyeshadow. I mean, have you seen him? I mean, look, look at this. Look at this bullshit. <laughs> I'm going to go up and give his earring back. can't actually have the earring and the tongue piercing at the same time because they take up the same slot. Yeah, see... Oh uh, yeah, that, that just doesn't look right. I just, I just, he's like the kind of guy who should have facial piercings, but none of them look right at all. Watch. Uh, problem is, if I gave him these facial piercings, that would fall into the watch category. So, yeah. I've never made a Full Metal Alchemist sim either, but I have the auto mail. <laughs> his glasses, but I will, and then we can add them in. Because we can edit characters anytime, I just wanted to show everyone while we assembled the household. I mean, that's the fucking coolest I know, right? Man. Show me your formal side. You fucking Gopnik. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Uh, yeah, I remember. I, just could, I didn't know what to do with this formal stuff, but uh, we, we know now, right? We can all aid in putting this boy together, huh? <laughs> Here we go, right? Huh? Huh? Give him some future shit. <laughs> Oh, no. Prep. Give him prep. <laughs> Make him a prep. That's probably what Lucimine would try to do to him, right? There you go. He shows up somewhere as the dude from the Big Lebowski. <laughs> Just all he does is quote the movie the whole time. So it ties the room together. Oh, here we go. Is that great or is that great? <laughs> Alright. And the pants kind of work though too. But, let's see what else we got. Like this. With the stripes. <laughs> you can show up with a kilt. 
Except I actually, I have killed his Archie's formal wear. Just kind of felt nautical, you know? I mean, I know he's Japanese and all, but, you know, <laughs> suits aren't Japanese either. <laughs> Besides, Pokemon feels more international. I have a mod for uh, men's shoes on women. Or uh, women's shoes on men, rather. But only in, like, some categories. Eh? Uh, eh? Uh, eh? Uh. Except those would really hurt to look at. Oh my god. shows up in slippers. <laughs> These are actually from the India set, but I don't know. They're a little pointy for him, aren't they? <laughs> this really conflicts with the pants. Shows up barefoot. Yeah, a lot of the women's shoes that are in that, they're included in that mod for men to wear them are just like really, really, really obnoxious. Eh? It's kind of look like high tops, huh? Yeah, I like these. Go to sleepwear. <laughs> oh, 3.5 inch heels. Oh, God. One time I went to a con. Three days I walked around on heels. Couldn't walk afterwards. Actually, um, the first night I had to stagger to the Wonder. con suite. Oh yeah, see he has another skull album on his chest there. And I staggered the con suite. I had to tell them, listen, I think there's something wrong with my legs. They are not working right. Because I didn't know if I should call an ambulance or anything. <sighs> yeah, so here we got, like, diamonds and skulls. <laughs> Again, yeah, you better not. <laughs> Athletic. Here's one of the skulls and argyle together. <laughs> yeah, when you live with a whole bunch of business people, but you ask so hard as fuck, right? <laughs> Just imagine, like, Lisa Mead's trying to buy him a new wardrobe, and he's like, ah, oh, sweet, I know what to do with these, and he goes to his closet, pulls out an ironing board and a whole bunch of press-ons, and starts, like, do doing those, uh, iron-on embroidery things, like, <laughs> all over the place, and she's like, so you do own an iron! <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's kind of... Mm. <laughs> hmm. He wears something like this. Show off his muscles. Or this. Showing his status as a freaking meme lord. It's a llama parody of Three Wolf Moon. <laughs> yeah. 
Boston Celtics, showing he just does not give a fuck. <laughs> That's a cutoff mod here. But it makes the stomach look really weird. So, uh, <laughs> no, this was the I do not give a fuck one. Maybe if it in the the like one single outfit, maybe there's like an Adidas thing. <laughs> These are swimsuits, by the way. Ah, no, I don't have anything like that. Lakers fan? Oh, it's not full of Lakers, is it? <laughs> Your friendly local barbarian? Your 1950s male cheerleader? <laughs> Your 1910s swimwear guy, I guess. A plant. <laughs> Roman senator. <laughs> I'm kind of digging these for the knee pads, though. Uh, I wish I could get it to scroll out a little more. It's, it scrolled in for his, uh, his Roman centurion or nobleman. Okay. Awesome. I'm going to take your word for it. But yeah, you can see knee pads here. Or something like this. I can change the colors on these, by the way. Athletic, though. Let's see. Tell me what kind of athletic look you want your boy to have. Still got to have stripies, doesn't he? Please excuse the ramblings of an old man. <laughs> oh, hey, uh, that's fine. Wait, are you that old that you were there in the Roman times? You dyed clothes in Roman eras? Uh, yeah. Um, I could put him in a banana hammock. <laughs> but not for athletic. That's more of a swimwear. <laughs> Leather skirt. Which is supposed to have a thing on the front, but he'd wear it, don't deny it. Yeah, I know. He could also wear this. But it wouldn't get very far. <laughs> he would so probably overheat to hell and back. Uh, I'm probably going with this. With the stripes. I think I put... Who is it I put in the same thing? Was it Cyrus? I don't recall. Try this. Nah, I'm leaning towards this. Uh, and gotta pick out his top too. I th I'm liking those shoes though. They're kind of Guzma-esque. We all know in athletic is where he's going to completely cheap out, right? Hmm. That wasn't what I wanted to click on. Like you went to college. <laughs> Deep V jackets, I know, right? Where, come on. I just saw them. Eh, 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 
show off his tattoo. The problem is they have, like, the college symbols on the back. I'm a deep V, not gonna lie. So do I. What kind of... Fighting gnomes. Fighting llamas. I honestly don't know what that is. I think it's a kangaroo. And possibly a shark. I'm not sure. I have no clue. It's on the front of this one. I still can't tell. I really can't tell. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we're digging the deep V's, but what, uh, what symbol do we want him to have? You think gnomes? Giving him the, the fighting gnomes? Gnomes it is! I'm gonna change the color, though. on there. Mm, that's what a white. I mean, that collar kind of makes him look like a douchebag, but he kind of is a douchebag. <laughs> what do you think? I like that it shows off his chest tattoo. He doesn't get a chance to do that very often. I think pink, okay. Oh, for the stripes, okay. Like that? Because the problem is I can't change the color on the emblem. That's the only thing that's, like, solid. That look good? <laughs> I mean, the pink and black together kind of tells me I stole this from Plumeria's closet and I don't care if she knows it. <laughs> Looks goodo. I aspire to look goodo. I also aspire to look good, but looking goodo is more important. <laughs> Forgive my typos. Yeah, I was just thinking I should probably make Gordor as one of their neighbors, right? Put the ranch, uh, the, the ranger villains all together. Yeah, ranch doesn't have that. Unless you count how the platinum expansion is only available in Japan. That's pretty villainous there. <laughs> okay, swimwear. Are we going banana hammock if we don't like his action, what he has already? Because I don't remember anything of what he already had. Yeah, he's got, he's got a necklace, because I figure why not, and he's got skulls. But, should we hammock him up? Can <laughs> I say as if I don't already know what each and every one of you is going to tell me? <laughs> So, honestly, uh, thinking of um, keep, go keeping out of that design and saving it for peers, but, you know, it's not hard to make. There, or gold, or even more gold, or some silver slash white. I do know what you want. I never should have doubted any of you. See, like, he also has skull tattoos on his ankles. More gold or gold, uh, check. I'm probably just plain gold, right? There we go. And he still has his watch. <laughs> I 
And now outerwear! Yay! Yay! Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's gonna, like, come upstairs in that banana hammock, and Lucy he's just gonna slap him. And Lysandra's gonna slap him and then cry. <laughs> For affronts to fashion. <laughs> <laughs> Although if Lisa Mean was a man, she'd probably wear things like that. Under the rest of her suit. Because she would still Yeah, his outerwear is fucked. That is so not Guzma. I mean, I could, um, <laughs> I could just put him in Cyrus's, but <laughs> it's got an R on there, but I don't know what 41 means. Yes, I know these have, like, no legs. I don't know what's going on there. Everyone, it's Father fucking Christmas! <laughs> or just, like, someone from the mainland. That's more of a summer festival sort of wear, isn't it? <laughs> Come on. towards the Santa coat. What do you think? Well, I think it's supposed to be like more of a religious thing, but we all know what Guzma would do. <laughs> Besides, he's all about being ostentatious. It's an early renaissance coat and continuing with fur trim. All right. I don't think he would care. And apparently gloves, because I can, I can change the gloves. I have to open the accessories menu again, and we all know how long that takes. But I was also thinking, because I don't think anyone else out of the, out of the bosses would wear this, but uh, hockey mask? <laughs> I never get to use the hockey mask. Come on. You gonna... The hockey mask. Come on. <sighs> Come on. Why? Why are you not 
not showing up. Let's see, there's the gloves. Oh, it finally shows up right as I select the glove, right? Eh? Eh? Shall we? <laughs> yes. Should we keep the rest of the coat, or should we change that? It's all good. I, w I want to change this coat, actually. <laughs> I feel like, even with the potential for humor, I feel like that's a little too much for him. He is about being ostentatious, but in a rather specific way. That's just his default pants. With the, the cuff part, or the, that part. I don't know what it's called. The problem is getting a really sloppy top, because there's hardly any sloppy tops for winter. See, look how his face down there changed, too. Yeah. Similar to Cyrus's, but yeah, it's all forty one, huh? This is black and white. He mostly wears black and white, so what do you think? That looks good on him, I like it. Awesome. Tropical boy has never been in a blizzard. <laughs> changing it back because the last thing you look at is what's displayed on the bar below. Okay, so hot-headed loser <laughs> over-emotional slob and it looks like for some reason they lost his last trait. So Let's see here. There's avant-garde. Avant-garde sims know what's art and what's not, and don't mind letting others know. It's tough to please an avant-garde type. Let's see. Childish, but it's more like the innocent kind of child rather than just never matured. <laughs> Let's see. Diva, oh god. Huh, Diva Sims are amazing, and don't you forget it. When they're good, they're great, and when they're bad, they're better. I'm gonna go through the whole list, but that does sound good. Uh, unstable is like a scientifically unstable sort of thing. Socially awkward? Try to fit in, but they say the wrong thing at the wrong time. Rebellious. Rebellious Sims take special pride in putting it to the man. Causing trouble and getting out of it is their specialty. Whether they're out after Kirby or telling their boss they've had it, they're no doubt taking extra pleasure in it. There's also Party Animal. Party animals love to party, and others love to party with them. When party animal hosts the party, everyone comes and has a great time. Woo! also mean-spirited, but I think that's a little too mean. But, it does seem to fit him during the game. Mean Sims love to fight, mostly because they never lose in a brawl. 
They take satisfaction with every new enemy made and dream of new ways to be nasty to others. Hmm. Also, kleptomaniac. Kleptomaniacs accidentally end up with their things owned by, with things owned by others. They often permanently borrow items from work school or even their neighbors' homes. Inappropriate. Uh, it's not really. It does enjoy mocking others with harsh words, but yeah. Okay, so what do you think? Diva? Rebellious? Excitable? <laughs> Daredevil? Daredevil will seek the extreme side of life. Movement means making an everyday char yeah, everyday char extreme. They also love fire. There was uh, a great comic I saw of um, someone made a Guzma Sim like soon after he'd been announced. They made him Daredevil, and the first thing he did was eat dirt. So, uh, so I did, they did a comic of that, and Maxi was highly impressed. <laughs> Also, couch potato, which, uh, I don't know. I don't think it really fits. Uh, so it's up to you guys. Um, I'll narrow it down um, to rebellious, uh, diva, um, kleptomaniac, um, or what was the last one? Or daredevil. <laughs> Do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Oh, that went up quite a bit. I'm here in the meantime, Everton's voice he likes pancakes, indie music, and the color black. Uh, it's made it a Scorpio just cause. Alright, so let me know. And then we can... That voice, yeah. He's kind of got a mid-range voice. A little dippy. Okay, so what do you want for this last trait? I'm, put, I'm, I'm asking you. <laughs> Rebellious it is. Alright, so Street Credible is his current goal, and I think that works. Reach level 10 of street art scale, create seven masterpiece murals. It does, doesn't it? Create some. Come on. got down here, Cyrus you're already in. Oh here's Mitsumi. <laughs> yeah the rest of the Galactics are gonna be neighbors. They're gonna look nearby. 
Here's Celis, by the way, from FM6. Gerardon from the second movie. Original characters. Uh, Nahum from uh, Valkyrie Chronicles 2. No, Monica, no. It's not your turn. This is one of my best friends. And you've seen. I'll just show you you've seen, but we're not going to stick with him. I just. He, he's going to get replaced, but I'm just going to show you his personality real quick. Diva, hot headed, loves the outdoors, natural born performer, and neat, and his goal is to reach level 10 of magician. <laughs> Quite a villain, are you? <laughs> okay, so everyone else, we're taking care of all the young adults. We need the regular adults now. Oh, and yeah, this is General Leo right here, because of course it is. <laughs> Regular adults, come on. Come on. Here we go. And that's what Lucy mean right below him, so. <laughs> okay, so personality. Snob, mean-spirited, grumpy, evil, and dislikes children. His goal is to be the emperor of evil. We are the only one in a house full of villains who has the evil trait. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go, sir. Let's go, sir. Yeah, just likes children as a trait. Isn't that great? Uh, he likes tri-tip steak, classical music, and the color black, even though he doesn't wear that until the second game. This is also the closest I could get to his black and white white outfit. But. Do you think I should try to go gaudier? Like, uh, see if I can find any designs that suit that? Yes, of course, yes. Also, uh, that is not the hairstyle I usually have for him. Where did the hairstyle I usually have for him go? Where is it? Actually, no, this, this actually works more than the one I did usually have. <laughs> and yes, I have him with the crown all the time because he's just that kind of guy. The hair I had for him. Also. Yeah, this is the one I had for him. It's like really long. But actually, I like that other one better. Is it that? No. There we go. Where did it Frickin'. Where'd it go? Where did you go? Is that it? No, it was longer, wasn't it? This is more like almost what he has in black and white too, huh? Is this it? Yes, this was it. What do you think? 
And also, no, I can't change which eye the monocle is on. For some reason, it's only ever on the left eye. Okay, well first what I want to do is I want to save this with these colors. <laughs> yes, there's fairies, there's uh, all kinds of stuff. Indiana Jones-esque explorers, and so on. But I just want to get to the bottom. That's where all the, most of the custom stuff is. Click, 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 click. Okay, it was right there. All right, there. Uh, geometric? Um, This too gaudy, isn't it? I mean, I know what he wears is absolutely ridiculous, but that's a little too much. Purple and gold. <laughs> oh god, that looks so 70s. The problem is I can't really control placement, only color. spooky though. Like it doesn't have the eyeballs. The two big eyeballs. <sighs> How do we take him seriously in this? By have him be the most evil some bitch in the world. <laughs> okay, and how about the blue part? What should I do with the blue part? I imagine I could just do the same design, but make it uh, with blue in the background, right? Yeah. Nice is relative. Looking nice is very, very relative with this man. do this. <laughs> do we do this? The king of Unova, everyone. We can always go back to the old one. <laughs> I 
Okay, yeah, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say it was Whimsical Gamer's idea. You're gonna take responsibility for this bullshit. <laughs> oh, my, my, my. What did I have for his shoes? Because I know he just has like, brown loafers. And I know because I cosplayed him once. Actually, a couple of years, because one only, uh, one doesn't make that outfit and only wear it once, you know. It's the perfect... Oh, okay, that's what the... All right. That's what it is, because it has the pants with it, too. In which case, I want to go back there and change that to white. Okay, so... Yeah, it looks like he's just got the regular loafers on. Like he should. I realized I don't even have to actually go all the way down. I just have to be on the right category. So brown, let's change that to white. All right, so now every day. Okay, so his formal wear is just that. Okay, and I gotta change that. So. Nope, nope, that's not what I think. Here, that. Okay, so should formal just be that, or should, sorry, I was texting something, or should I do, like, his BW2 version? It should essentially just be that. And also, no, I can't, I can't get his right arm hidden either. I mean, in black and white, too, it's still, it's still there, like, you can see it like, slung up in his robe. So he still has a right arm. It would not surprise me to learn that it functions just fine, and he just hides it because it's got all the scars on it. This one, That one's good? You mean the, the all-black one? Or the... that one? Fairly certain that Vane Asshole would do such a thing. I mean, he wears a lens over his eye that's the same color as his scar, so I'm assuming he's trying to hide it, so... <laughs> okay, so which one? The all-black one or the regular? And isn't it sad that we have to refer to that monstrosity as regular? <laughs> All black. All right. Sleepwear. I don't remember what I gave him, but I'm certain it was completely off the case. Oh, 
Uh... Oh yeah, there. It's just like the it's the colors of his regular. <laughs> You here? I want to save that just so we can explore some other options. Just because I'm going to show him how to it. I think that was fantastic. <laughs> Just so we can put this back on him. No. First off. Eh? Eh? Second. This isn't actually supposed to look ridiculous, but it kind of does. Dressed like a normal person. <laughs> Just like I don't even remember what these really are. Dressed like a plant. <laughs> Dressed like a normal person in the 1920s, I guess, complete with, um, butt flap. <laughs> and there! And of course he wears the crown a bit, because of course he does. <laughs> What's he gonna do, put it on the nightstand where commoners can get to it? <laughs> I mean, even Lissandra, who's actually of royal blood, is a commoner to him, so. <laughs> it's like, yeah, well, is your house still in power? <laughs> well, it's <is> yours. <laughs> yeah, what did happen to the Harmonia line, huh? How long ago was that? <laughs> His workout outfit. I'm not changing it. I like it. <laughs> so I don't remember what shoes he had. But... <laughs> ah, yeah, just these things. Should probably have some boots or something or something like that, huh? Now he probably would wear heeled shoes, but like cavalry style heeled shoes. <laughs> I feel like that just doesn't defeat the purpose, huh? A lot of these is just, it's the clipping issues, you know? Look at that. Uh, see, I, I do something like this. Oh, okay, these aren't the ones that clip out the back. So what do you think, those? See, these would look better, but they're just, they're, they clip so bad. You go, <laughs> oh no, 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 saffron. Or just like that. Oh, it's also not looking good. Uh, 
your shoes. Nah, it does not look good. Even without the clipping, they don't look really good. So the boots then. Swimwear. It's inspired by his uh, black and white two outfit. Um, I don't know why he's wearing bracelets. Where did those come from? Get rid of those. Goodness gracious. I don't want to watch him drown. <laughs> and he's got to have some sandals because there's no way he's <laughs> actually walking barefoot. Hey, come on, I want to see the... Uh, I want to see the, why the bracelet's there. You know, it could be worse. Remember. You remember what we gave Guzma to swim around in? I'm on the same death boat of Minetta. Minetta at least is still a kid and could mature out of being an asshole. <laughs> Probably after, you know, several times of getting slapped and slapped and slapped and slapped and slapped. He say creepy shit to Eric Chan, he needs to die. He's like 11. <laughs> and he's not like evil, he's just a pervert. And he needs to learn personal space. And 11 year olds are all idiots. We, you were an idiot as 11. I was an idiot as 11. We're everyone who is 11 years old is a freaking idiot. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, I think the kingly attire works here. He's, he's like 16. <laughs> 16 year olds are idiots too. I think you're an idiot from the time you're like 10 to the time you're like, well like 18. <laughs> How's that look for you? For outside wear. I'm 17, I'm spitting righteous facts about ancient clothing. Well, yes, but <laughs> it doesn't mean you can't know things. Nothing is really good in that. Yes, he does. And, uh, yeah, we went over personality. <laughs> yeah, for real. The evil trait, by the way, means that you could like uh, pick fights with all the other Sims. And it'll also, since I have high autonomy on, and so the Sims will be able to make their own decisions. Yeah, he does it frequently. Just remember what I said. Oh, hello, Mitsumi. Without your scarf for some reason. But yeah, just, just just remember, it could have been worse. I could have put him in what Guzma wears to swim. I'm giving like a really big smile right now.
Lucimine, there we go. <laughs> I it's it's not very close. When she moves, she has a little bit of a double chin. I don't know why, because I have her as being like really skinny. And that's I think really buff. I mean <laughs> So for personality, animal lover, charismatic, dislikes children, perfectionist, and snob. She she's kind of cute, um, brain no work. You didn't know it was Lisa mean. <laughs> this is you can't really do the hair. <sighs> So she's, her goal is to collect minor pets in the wild, which is like uh, birds and rodents and all kinds of stuff like that. So it's not the Ark Builder, but in order to have two cats, dogs, and horses, uh, yeah, um, cats, dogs, and horses are considered major pets, which means that they're not background things. They're sims. They're members of your household that you take control of as the player. So, yeah, I'm gonna, just going to go with the zoologist. I could go with Gold Digger, see Ghost of Wealthy Spouse. But, uh... Okay, she likes white. She likes R&B, because why not? And sushi, also because why not? Uh, is that let's start with outerwear just because because why not and we get to see the female options this time for the only time the, the entire time we're going to be playing <laughs> I mean we could make like Marnie have her live across the street but yeah this is really hard, huh? Yeah. It's been happening to me for a while. Yeah, I gave her, like, some weird outerwear, because why not? She looks kind of peasanty, but also not. <laughs> That's why I can't imagine she would want to be out in the snow very much. Yeah, I know she does, doesn't she? Usually I have her with a necklace too, but I don't know. Okay, swimwear. What did I give her? I think I gave her something she actually wore on the show. We do actually see swimwear loosening on the show. <laughs> oh, no, I guess not. But, I mean, this looks really good on her too. She already looks like she could Lady Godiva her way. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> And she's got to have sunglasses. <laughs> Athletic. I figure she's going to have a little avant-garde with her clothes. <laughs> Come on. Athletic. I know that's not what she wears for athletic. I'm gonna go uh, find some uh, uh, some reference pictures for when we actually need to make um, our newcomers. Okay, Chairman Rose. 
bring him up here. Yeah, what should they make his favorite color? Gray? We'll, we'll get to that when we... Uh, um, come on, I just want the picture. That's all I need. That's all I freaking need. Uh, save image as. Okay. Stop it. What are you doing? No, sit. Ugh. Okay, yeah, so there's her athletic gear. It's kind of keeping with her white and gold uh, look. And because she um, acts like she's younger than she is, she has those pockets coming out the bottom. <laughs> because why not, huh? Okay, let's see here. I'm going to switch windows really quick, though. Uh, safe pictures. looking at, um, I, I'm looking at the, um, Bulbapedia page, uh, Rose is not listed as being a villain boss, even though he really should be. <laughs> oh, goodness. It's just kind of funny. Okay, then click on Piers. Okay, it really should be, yes. Oh, still got the string here. <laughs> okay, so sleepwear, it's simple, but also stylish. You know, she's got little shorts on under there, and they're gold. <laughs> and formal, I don't remember. Still can't think straight near her. So, you thinking gay near her? <laughs> I think everyone's a little gay for Lisa Mean. Even the men. <laughs> <laughs> and her hair is always long and soft here, not like, <laughs> not like the actual games. <laughs> Goodness golly, in the games it looks like she's about to fuck someone's eye out every time she turns around. Come on, formal. Formal me up. Switch back to Here's page, which is now fully loaded. And let's see. Image as. Oh, you know what? We're gonna get to wear that spiked necklace I showed you earlier. Yeah! <laughs> Come on, formal. <laughs> We're gonna get to see her formal dress now. Yep, yeah, pa pa la 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 I'm bringing up all these other ones, but it's not putting them on her. You know what it is, though? It's the mouths. The mouths are why she's not looking right. She's just... The, the, the mouth is so... You can't get some mouths to look 
right. Come on. This can't actually be her formal outfit. Come on. Change it back to regular. Uh. Oh, here we go. Pierce's uniform number is 061, which can be read as Japanese in Japanese as Goro OSA for water we, meaning bad. <laughs> Pierce is the second villainous team leader to be fought as a gym leader, the first being Giovanni. Uh, the, both Giovanni and Pierce's successors were introduced as rivals before becoming <laughs> gym leaders. Uh, Pierce is the first dark type gym leader at long last. Unlike past villainous team leaders, Pierce has no evil intentions or goals. <laughs> Pierce's battle music contains remix parts from N's final battle theme and the Team Rocket Hideout. <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean, all that would have, huh? <laughs> Come on. Okay, give give me her formal outfit. Come on, what's wrong? <laughs> Juniper or rat? Yep, sounds good to me. <laughs> Come on. Why aren't you showing me her formal outfit? work anymore or something? What was your number? Mine was uh, zero one three. So I was, I was born on June 13th, so... <laughs> 13's always kind of been a little good luck for me. Come on. Which of these outfits is Lysamine's formal wear? Actually, kind of think of it, I don't know what his Japanese name is. Let me look it up. Uh, oh, Nezu. That's cool. Yeah, it's, it's got like everyone else in the villainous team leaders. Okay, you have four rocket bosses <laughs> for different continuities. You have Magma, Aqua, Galactic, Plasma, Flare, Skull, Gorok Squad, Dim Sun, Debonairs, Pinchers, Snagum, Cypher, Phobos Battalion, Great Team Great Rocket, which is a completely different entity, Great Gavel, Dark Legion, and Team Kings, which don't freaking have um, Rose's whole deal. <laughs> Shit. What's Rose's Japanese name? Is it still just Rose? Yeah, just Rose. Trivia for him isn't nearly as interesting. Rose was designed by Haruko Ichikawa, and Rose is the first character who is not a Pokemon professor to make an introduction for a core series game. In addition, Rose is the first antagonist to do so. <laughs> it's heartbroken. Okay. Listen, I mean, what is your formal outfit then? I don't, re I don't remember, and I don't know why it's not here. Oh, 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 are we going to get something? Okay, well, that was a lot of build-up for the fact that it's just her regular outfit again. Okay. Well, at least I know. 
Should we give her a different formal outfit? And if so, should it be a dress? A, what kind of thing should she wear? Something daring and avant-garde, no doubt, but... Or should we just leave this section because it's taking too long? Like, how would this look on her? No, actually, that would look that would look atrocious. <laughs> this looks kind of like something Mars would wear, but not loose. I mean, not loose. I'd change the colors on that if I did. Mm -hmm. I have to probably change that to white with gold, but. <laughs> oh, stream broke for you. Oh. I thought you were just like. Oh. <laughs> this is a little more childish, but... No, there's a teen version, so I'm probably, when I make Marnie, gonna put her in this for her formal. <laughs> but I'll probably make Marnie, like, off camera or something. Here's something, and I wouldn't even have to change the colors for this. Would, wouldn't she? You know who else would is Domino. The rocket officer who looks like she's like 16 but's probably older. <laughs> but not necessarily. <laughs> Mom, no! And also, you know, remove the tights, too. <laughs> Mom, really, no! Mom, you're just doing this to embarrass me now, aren't you? opportunities to go through the female clothing. I mean, unless I make like Madam Boss or Jay or someone too. Jay should be listed as a team boss, right? Except for he never actually gets a name. It's just Jay's henchmen. Who are all men for some reason. <laughs> Oh no, that's that's not that's not something Lucy would do. Neither is this, but I just want to show. <laughs> Where's this? Come on. Hmm, they're nice, but. Oh, 
Probably go back to dresses, huh? Yeah, Marnie would be a gothic Lolita. Um, Domino would probably be like a flower Lolita. Because, <laughs> you know, tulips and everything. Um, gosh, there was someone else I was just thinking of. Lily would be a sweet Lolita, we know that. <laughs> um, gosh, who's the other one I was just thinking of? I was just thinking of another kid. Uh, another kid character, and I don't remember her. Actually, did ask Marty, would probably wear a suit. Yeah, probably. <laughs> like a fancy Victorian suit. I that'd be amazing. <laughs> no, come on. Come on, you want to change, don't you write? <laughs> Come on, oh my goodness. See, the problem is most of the custom content is for female characters, so that's what I have most of. Even though in this house we only get to play her, because uh, Game Freak is a little behind the times. <laughs> this looks like something you'd wear on a Mediterranean cruise, right? This is interesting. The flower could be a little tie-in to a Lola. I'll change the belt to gold. What do you think? And should I change her tights? I like the little flower one. Alright, then let us work on the little flower one. There we go. How about that? That's nice, huh? Okay, and shall we change the tights? Because that's just from her regular outfit, it's just left over. And should she wear a necklace with it? Yeah, the tights shouldn't be there, yeah. Should she wear, like, regular tights, or just a uh, bare leg, or what? Okay, now we're going to go through the necklaces to get to the tights. So. Also, we're not going to be able to see any earrings on her with that hairstyle. Um, unless they're like really, really, really big earrings. So I'm just going to skip those. Even though she probably, she probably has like a whole bunch of earrings. But from like a practical standpoint. <laughs> A lot of these stuff are counted as earrings, like uh, the navvies and all that. Just because the, there's not really a separate place for hats 
they just kind of go under accessories. So people who make hats and stuff, got to put them somewhere. Come on. Come on. La 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 la. La 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 la. Guys, I know y'all are watching on Discord. Why don't you come into the chat here? Yeah? Come on. I hate opening the accessories folder. It takes forever. Wish catalog and categorize them and put them in their own files to open so it didn't open every single accessory ever made by the hand of man or beast. Okay, oh, yeah, okay, there's necklaces. Go back up a little. Backpacks are counted as a necklace. I don't know why. That hairpiece is counted as a necklace. Don't know why. bitrate just went from like 100 to well over a thousand. I don't know what's going on here. Well, I mean, I do know what's going on here. Now it's down to like 600. Goodness gracious. Maybe those just don't load. that green charm in the actual game, right? I mean, this would suit her, but it's not really coordinated, and she's very coordinated. Yeah, with the little, uh, the little green there. Really resisting Team Four Star reference, just, <laughs> just so so everyone knows. <laughs> Maybe just a plain heart. That one sits a little lower on her too. All right, so uh, let me know. Yeah, seeing uh, so many necklaces. Green makes her eyes pop, like this one. That green. I think that's the only one I gave her the head. Well, I guess that one, but that's also kind of blue, so... Okay, now, it's going to be time to get rid of those tights. Um, see, it's like one of the last things in here. 
Okay, so do we like just like that? Do we want to give her like regular hosiery kind of tights? Like uh, that or that or anything? Or just uh, bare legs? Or socks? <laughs> She looks better without tights. All right. And the shoes? Should we change up the shoes? A lot of the future stuff, as evident. The, the little symbols here indicate what expansion it's from, and that's the future stuff. A lot of these I'm just kind of flipping through because I've already seen them and stuff, but... No. Yeah, like her pumps, alright. I want to try on a few more, though, just in case. These are not the ones I wanted to pick! No, again, those are not the ones I'm picking. Uh, <sighs> no, those aren't them either. How about that? And it's got some heel support there, which is always good when you're wearing pumps. Or she's got flat sandals, although I'd probably change the color on them. More flat sandals. But they look really uncomfortable, my goodness. Probably where gold is. Pumps are good. Okay. I will go find her pumps again. Um, I don't remember exactly which ones they were. They might have been these. Yes, they. that looks like them, right? Oh, not quite. I don't remember exactly. It looked like they were from the front, though, right? Where it was kind of strappy. Crap. Well, it's like this, but they had heels on them. So, yeah, I think it was these, like, right? I think I should give them another color, or... No, actually, the black makes them stand out. And if we recover which ones they actually were, then... Like, like with Guzma and his glasses, we can always go back. This is just to get a nice setup. <laughs> Let's see here. Now for Archie and Maxi. And then we can... That's about as big as it'll actually let us make the house. But uh, due to a mod, we can combine them with another house. Which means um, I'll, I'll add Archie and Maxie in here. Then I'll save that, and then I'll make uh, Rose and Piers. Um, it's actually getting fairly late. Should we make Rose and Piers tonight or tomorrow? Since I am going to be making them separately and then combining the houses.
All right. Um, yeah, I think I'm actually just going to make them tomorrow, but I'm just going to finish up showing off the main house today. Because it's almost 10. Okay. Come on, sounds good, I'm tired, yes. Come on, age adult. Should I shut off Cynthia really quick? I actually think she has the same hair that Lusamine does, but yeah, I'll show off Cynthia. She's of relevance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here, actually. I'm going to bring up her theme music as we do this. And I'm just going to play it on my phone so that, um, so that I hopefully don't get, uh, you know, copyrighted or anything. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. There. Uh... Uh, Cynthia Battle theme. Okay, so yeah, there. Regular look. Yeah, she's got the same. Uh, something is. Come on, do I have like an endless battle? Oh, okay, Battle Champion. It's half an hour long. For the top comment is Cynthia's Garchomp versus Gitsis's Hydreigon is something I'd pay good money to see. That gets a thumbs up. Send help posted nine months ago. <laughs> Remember when I was seven and Cynthia's guard shop. Oh, it, <laughs> one hit KO'd my level 89 Infernape. Oh no, where's plan B? There is no plan B. Sends out level 34 Weasel. <laughs> guard shop used Earthquake. It's super effective. Dialga fainted. And that was the first time in my life I experienced true fear. <laughs> <laughs> I know what true horror sounds like. It's missing the sound of Dragon Rush and kids crying. <laughs> oh, man. So to say Garchomp wasn't much of an issue for me. You know what was? That goddamn Milotic. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> okay, can you hear it from here? Okay, so Renaissance Sim reached level 10 with three different skills. Virtuoso, because she's apparently also a musician on top of everything else. Loves the outdoors, good, couch potato, and bookworm. Uh, favorite color, black, indie, and fruit parfait, because it's the closest they have to ice cream. So here's, uh, you click on it, just has all these options. You can make ice cream in the game, but, you, well, you need the ice cream machine. But, um, yeah, the, the, it, you can't select all the foods, especially the specialty foods. Uh, Libra, because why not? 
He's gonna go through her clothing too because everyone wants to see Cynthia all dressed up, right? <laughs> Say something, why did you leave everything in the distortion world on me? <laughs> yeah, see, we're going to run into the same problem here loading up the formal wear. But it might just be her same outfit as well. And this is why I selected the half hour version. Okay, you know what? Screw it. I don't care if her formal gear is the same as her regular. We're just going to move to sleepwear. Because that's going to load up faster. We're already at uh, almost two and a half hours. You know what? I spent two and a half hours on the phone earlier. I was on hold the entire time. That was just earlier today. <laughs> okay. Uh... Are you going to see her sleeper? I know this is just... Oh, there we go. Okay, that must be her formal outfit then. Because I know that's that ain't your nightwear. I know it ain't, sweetie. Come on. I know it ain't. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I mean, do you have a little Cynthia cheesecake? Just a little. <laughs> You, you remember that guy in Undella Town who's all, like, mooning over her? It's like, oh, Cynthia, Cynthia, why are you so Cynthia? And it's, like, talking about how she couldn't decide what swimsuit to buy. A black one or a white one. <laughs> I just imagined, like, Cyrus comes out of the distortion world. That's the first guy he runs into, and he just turns right around and walks back. Gotta get a little kind of Garchomp feeling here from this outfit. <laughs> now the swimwear. Because we know we gotta see the swimwear. This is what everyone came here to see, right? <laughs> I haven't gotten that in Town yet. Yeah. Okay, well that's what it is. That's that's what she has right there. It's lit up. Hi Dad. Okay. Oh yeah, see there we go. <laughs> it's gotta have the shades. And outerwear. Good night, Dad. Take a nice little baby. Yes, please. It's boiling hot in here without the door open. <laughs> Sorry, my parents are going to bed. 
Okay, outerwear, come on. Outerwear, for when you have to climb a mountain because that spiky haired shit is causing trouble again. <laughs> Figure, black and gray, but with off putting or offsetting white gloves. <laughs> so, yes. Spiky haired shit is so accurate. Yep. It can also apply to Guzma. <laughs> and to Lissandra, of course. And kind of two gates, but he only has three spikes. <laughs> Not like many smaller ones. <laughs> Actually, Cynthia should probably be under young adult, shouldn't she? If Cyrus is there. I think so. Yeah, but I don't want to. There we go. <laughs> I had to give Maxi a mullet. Also, yes, he is wearing the same outfit that Gatsis has. It's amazing what the colors can do. You know? This is also the same outfit that Gerardon has. Because he's got in canon what I think is a kurta. But. Or possibly a cassock. Even though I know a cassock is strictly religious garb. I don't care. I don't think they thought that through. <laughs> okay, so Maxie's personality here. Own a five-star resort. It's also really, really hard to do. So I might change it. Uh, on our, um, nah. Bottomless nectar cellar. Nectar is basically wine. Of course, that would be basing it just off of that one scene in Poke Special where he's drinking out of a bottle that's like half his height, but. <laughs> oh, great explorer. Fully explore six tombs. Uh. Jack of all trades, reach level five of four different careers. Major master, earn three degrees. It's more than a machine. What's that about? Oh, that's about building robots. That'd probably be good for Cyrus. But, uh, professional author, private museum. This is what I have for Gerard on, but we're not using him right now. Because he has no social skills and thus could not be the boss of anything. Um, scientific specialist, you reach the level 10 in science and in uh, anything else, basically. <laughs> uh, seasoned traveler. class gallery, but the photography is also really hard because you have to pay through the nose for like each painting. Cynthia's theme, why are you still playing? <laughs> it's a, no! Stop screaming! Like the second you see me, you start screaming. Why? Bird. No, don't you dare. Don't you encourage her. Visionary, uh, painting and photography. Uh, handiness and logic skills. What do you think here? What should, uh, what should Maxi aspire to do? Or should he still aspire to own a resort empire? He's a workaholic, neat, natural cook. Loves the outdoors and ambitious. Scientific specialist. Okay. 
Yeah, to the man who failed Earth Science 101, right? <laughs> Although, actually, to um, improve in your scientific skills, you have to garden. And actually, that, that also, um, that's another, uh, um, that's another one, is, like, having the perfect garden. Oh, good night. Oh, do be high. I didn't even know you were still here. Good acting thing. Oh, we missed you. We thought you just left. Well, good night. Oh, the perfect garden right there. Plant and grow eight different species of perfect plant. Shall we? <laughs> I'm actually, I, I'm going to use like a custom, uh, the not, I'm going to use a custom uh, job for him. I'm thinking of making him an architect. <laughs> nah, I, I'm thinking perfect garden. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, so Red, he likes Latin music and pancakes, because why not? And, uh, a Gemini, or, yeah, a Gemini for, uh, Earth Day. I think it's just barely in there. Clothing. Formal. I'm pretty sure it was actually just roughly the same thing, too. Same thing. Okay, yeah, hi, Athena. She can kiss. Actually, she didn't give me a kiss. She gave the cat a kiss. Her dad came down to bring the cat upstairs. Okay, sleepwear. Yeah, so it's just, he actually has night clothes like a normal person. What? Okay. <laughs> yes, hello baby bird. I offered if you wanted to come shoulder earlier, but you bit me. Oh, little bird. Oh, little bird. Okay, so once we finish up with uh, with him and then add Archie, then combine uh, everybody then, we're going to call it quits um, because it's been uh, two hours, 39 minutes right there. So, yeah. Uh, that's just going through and looking at these guys. So, uh, needless to say, setting up piers and rows is going to take probably about that much time just to build them. Because we're going to have to do the faces, and yeah, his workout gear is kind of crazy. <laughs> I forgot about how crazy his workout gear was. Oh, goodness. I mean, you could just buy that kind of fabric. So he probably just, like... 
just like made that himself. <laughs> la, 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 la. Swimwear. Maxi is not very confident. <laughs> you think I should also give him flippers? Big, big flippers. Though, uh, I don't know if this is because I was looking at videos for this other game earlier, but or if it's because I just looked up some final boss music, but I just got probably the best final boss music coming up on my recommendations. It has nothing to do with anything, but... <laughs> Hey, that's enough of that, or we're going to be here for like, uh, like 20 more minutes. Anyway. Yeah, for, for some reason, whoever programmed the code to unlock those boots and the heels and stuff, put them under swimwear as well. I don't know why. Okay, so, tell me. Should we have... We have flippers. And if so, which style? Or just no flippers. Go back to bare feet. <laughs> or like sandals. You tell me. <laughs> that looks wonder bar right there just the bare feet you gotta remember there's a little bit of a delay so you have to tell me which that you're talking about Totally unfitting for Maxi, but I don't care. <laughs> Bare feet looks good on him, all right. So, uh, outerwear, he's just kind of out of touch. <laughs> because why not, huh? And here was something else. go like this. <laughs> That's kind of too hip for him, isn't it?
And it can also do like these and stuff. Yes, hello baby thing. kind of looks like someone's dad, but that's... Mm. He's lava dad, yes. Mm. I like him in cargo pants, but it's got that drawstring there. I mean, he's the kind that would wear cargo pants for actually their intended purpose, for cargo actually storing stuff. Although with him it would be like small rocks. And <laughs> Hi, Thien. Trying to keep his Pokeballs in there, but... Yeah. You know. How about in that blue leather jacket, huh? <laughs> with the collar. A collar that appears and kind of chuckle at and be like, all right, all right, you got the spirit. You think you can work up? <laughs> there is going to be a problem, though, with giving peers a really big chain, and that's that it's going to clip through stuff. Yes, that actually looks quite nice. We're excited for a clip chain. Oh gosh, yes. Especially if he like takes a nap with it on, because if they just take a nap rather than go to bed, they uh they wear their whatever they were wearing before instead of changing into their night clothes. So, um it's gonna be so funny to see him like lie down with something like that on. It's just gonna go straight through the bed. There we go. I think this is the same shoes that Lysandra has, but, yeah. <laughs> this is after Guzma gets a hold of them for five minutes. Yeah, this isn't that right. And I have the, sh the gloves are orange, that's fine. I got suggested Pokemon all villain and antagonist battle themes. Well, I mean, yeah, but uh, we're also almost done. We could have gone through them in order. I did that. Okay. Oh, that's Haley from my Pokemon Ranch. I don't know how she came out hot, but. <laughs> <laughs> Over. Come on, little adult. Top five worst video game villains. Lysandra is in the thumbnail. I'm just gonna I I, I gotta go pop that in the Discord for uh 
the the team player gets far. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> All right, there we go. I don't know what I'm doing. Household is already capacity for Sims. Okay, that's bullshit. What I'm gonna do here though. Because see, it's already giving me her. Like, it just puts her right in there. So I don't, I don't remember how to do this. Maybe I had to... Awesome. Oh, just pre-made. Just change. Sina, I hear you. You good bird. But I'm almost done. Okay? Almost done. What's a figure? How to do this? Right? How did I do this before? Um, I specified Sims 3. <sighs> oh, okay. All right. Uh, Sims 3 get more than eight Sims tutorial. All right. I'm going to try to have it. Fun. Yeah, I have Master Controller. Yes. Uh, yeah, I go inside the mods folder, blah, 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 I have all of these installed. Yes. It's two. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god, this is so dumb. It's just telling me how to install mods. Uh huh, yeah. Okay. Okay, this. They start their game on uh, with Sims already out. This is ridiculous. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do what might be impossible here. I don't wanna delete him. Okay? Stupid thing. I just want to move it so that I can put Archie here. Athena! Been a bird! Yeah, he's still gonna be in the. Uh, Guzma's still gonna be in the file. Athena! Bird! Okay, I, g 
forget it. You're going to go to bed right after this. The faster this works, the faster you can go to bed. Okay, bird? On! Why? How many times do I have to select adult instead of young adult? On! This video is not helping me in any way whatsoever. Oh my god. I think that I think I understood less. No, I don't want a TikTok ad. Lord. This is Sims 4. That is not going to help me. The same Sim in Sims 3 and Sims 4? Well, yeah. Alright, so here we go. So I'm just going to have to, like, add Guzma manually. I don't remember what I did. Uh, yeah, water himbo, yeah. I don't know if how much you heard uh, when you were gone, but I had to remove Guzma from the house in order to get Archie to show up because it wasn't letting me select him. It said the house was full, which means I'm just going to have to add him when I add Piers and Rose. See, like, uh, I'll just show you on this spot. Guzma is still going to show up. Because the option I used said delete, but it doesn't delete him from everything. It just deletes him from the current house. Oh, oh yeah, now it defaults to adult. My god. Yes, I hear you. Seriously? Come on, you just had everything open. Okay. It's going to be around here somewhere. Come on. Come on. I know you're around here somewhere. There he is. Oh, his scuzzy glory. Fana! It's like 10.30. You can't scream at 10.30. Okay. Goodness, we've been at this for almost three hours. Okay, master the deep, the diving skill. Earn 40,000 simoleons from selling diving collectibles. There is going to be a problem with that, though. That is nearly freaking impossible on any map except Paradise Island. So I'm going to change that to Perfect Private Aquarium. Okay, so Sailor, loves the outdoors, charismatic, angler, and ambitious. Blue, he likes R&B, and he likes fish and chips. That's right, baby. You like fish and chips? I bet you would. You like fried food, huh? Birds are not supposed to have fried food, but you know, every little, little, little tiny bit. You know, like a fourth of a fry. 
Okay, so there's that. As you can see, I went for a mix of his original and remake versions. He's got the thicker beard, uh, skin kind of in between the two shades. Athena, what? Okay, well, while that's going up, I'm going to go check my... Uh, Dog or Mob Sims. It's probably going to be in my history as far as the uh, my profile. Find all posts. Okay, this isn't posts. This is also comments. Oh, yeah, there's the problem of enabled aging has been disabled against my will. What the crap? Mm. This is just comments that I made. This is not all the posts I made on Mod Sim. All right, so, yeah. <laughs> Dad shirts, yeah. Well, it's kind of like a nautical cardigan sort of thing, is what I was think. I think that I was thinking. I mean, we could go for something else, but I think we could probably do that later. Hello, yes, you're a good bird. You're a good bird. <laughs> And yes, he's got little, little genie slippers. Why not? Why not? <laughs> uh, athletic, come on. Okay, yeah, there we go. I was just athletic gear there. <laughs> And buccaneer boots. Because, yeah. <laughs> there we go. I've got a full on wetsuit there, huh? It also shows off his butt. <laughs> oh, goodness. I guess that's what we came for. <laughs> you know what I realized? Uh, removing yeah. Guzma may have reset him to his original condition, so I may have to... Why does everyone have that for their outerwear? I don't think that's what I gave him. I could give him something only buccaneer -y like that, huh? You think that is, looks good? Maybe I'll turn the jacket blue. What do you think?
I think I'm done with that. I haven't gotten, I haven't heard yet, but I'm going to give it just a little. Huh? Hmm? Yeah, yeah, looks good. Well, I like it. <laughs> so yeah, that's um that's everyone. Okay, so uh, since it's not letting me actually fill this last position, uh I'm going to have to go back and find whatever I did before, other than just merge household. Sashko! Sashko! That was, uh, I took a picture of them. <laughs> so the only relationship we really need to uh, be concerned with is Cyrus is giving side. Oh, they're all, are they all going to give side eye? Uh, no. These three are all giving side eye pizzas. Got to admit, these are, all right. So, spouse of. Or should we do fiance of? Let's do fiancé of so that we can have a wedding later. <laughs> and then everyone else is just going to be uh, housemates. And we're not going to get started yet. This household, no. Uh, okay, yeah. There. But where are all my... Uh, I have a, like a bunch of townie sims. Oh well. Okay, tomorrow we're going to add everyone together. Right now, right now, what we're going to do... There we go. Tomorrow we can finish up the Sims themselves and then maybe get started on picking out a house for them. There's a great trick called free real estate that you just enter in the code free real estate and the house in everything in it is free. So it's awesome. Alright, well, I want to thank everyone for coming, and I will see you all later.